silicone feline coronavirus, FCOV, FIP, antibody test kit is designed to determine cat serum IgG antibody titer to feline coronavirus, FCOV. The negative result is useful to rule out a diagnosis of feline infectious peritonitis, FIP. This dot ELISA kit is easy to handle and delivers reliable results in just 30 minutes. Before starting the test, put on the gloves. Individual or multiple tests are processed by breaking off the desired number of teeth from the comb. Here, we will perform the test with two teeth. Store the kit under normal refrigeration, between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius or 36 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Before conducting the test, bring the developing plate to room temperature by removing all kit components from the carton and place them on a workspace for 60 minutes. Or incubate only the plate at 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Mix reagents by gently shaking the developing plate several times prior to use. Use the tweezers to pierce the protective aluminum cover of row A. Use a micropipette to handle the sample. Each test requires a unique sample. Therefore, you will use a different sample for each opening. Do not open any wells of row A or other rows which you do not intend to use. Do not remove the aluminum cover of developing plate all at once. For the test, we used a micropipette. Deposit a sample into a well in row A. Raise and lower pipette plunger several times to mix properly. Once that's done, discard the tip. Remove the comb from its protective envelope. Remember that we will be using two comb teeth to perform the test. Insert the comb into the open wells in row A, printed side facing you, and incubate for 10 minutes. Attention, it is essential to follow the correct time intervals between each step to achieve accurate results. Avoid scratching the front active side of the comb by leaning it to the back while mixing. Mixing during incubation according to the instructions is critical to achieve valid results. Repeat the mixing process between two and three times. Gently shake off excess liquid from comb teeth onto an absorbent paper before moving it to the next row. Pierce the foil of the next wells in row B. Shake off excess liquid and insert comb for two minutes. Move the teeth at least twice during each step. Remove excess liquid. Pierce the foil of the next wells in row C. Shake off excess liquid and insert comb for 10 minutes. Move the teeth at least twice during each step. Remove excess liquid. Pierce the foil of the next wells in row D. Shake off excess liquid and insert comb for two minutes. Move the teeth at least twice during each step. Remove excess liquid. Pierce the foil of the next wells in row E. Shake off excess liquid and insert comb for two minutes. Move the teeth at least twice during each step. Remove excess liquid. Pierce the foil of the next wells in row F. Shake off excess liquid and insert comb for 10 minutes. Move the teeth at least twice during each step. Remove excess liquid. Upon completion of the color development in row F, Move the comb back to row E for two minutes for color fixation. Take the comb out and let it dry for five minutes before reading the results. Attention, do not place your fingers or absorbent paper on the reagent area. When the comb is completely dry, align it with the calibrated color comb scale provided in the kit. Individual tooth reading is recommended. Find the tone of purple-gray on the comb scale that most closely matches the positive reference spot. Slide the yellow ruler until the C plus mark appears in the window above the color you just found. This step actually calibrates the C plus to S3, which is the cutoff point to which test spots will be compared. While holding the ruler, find the tone of purple-gray on the comb scale that most closely matches the desired test result spot. Write the score S result shown on the scale and read it according to the table in the instruction manual. 
This instruction video is for visual purposes only. Before using Immunocomb Feline Coronavirus FCOV FIP Antibody Test Kit, please consult the most...